What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of The Tack We're At and today I got another Dobbins Rods review. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, probably by the title of the video, today I'm going to be reviewing my top five favorite Dobbins Rods models. So I run all Dobbins Rods, um, just my personal preference, you know, played around with a couple different brands and kind of settled on Dobbins, you know, I just like the amount of models that they have. They have models that fit my preference, which is those longer rods and uh, just cover pretty much every price range, every model you could think of, and that's why I run all Dobbins. So today I'm going to be going over my top five Dobbins rods models. I only have, uh, I believe, 16 or 17 Dobbins rods, so I don't have, obviously, not even close to all of them, just barely scratching the surface of how many models they have, but I do have a lot of the popular models, and I do have experience with these, and as a co-angler, I just chose, you know, to do top five because when I'm fishing as a co-angler, usually I'm only bringing about five to six rods with me uh, when I go out for a tournament. So I'm going to be showing you guys um, the five different rods that I like to use, the probably the ones that I use most often. Uh, so first, we're going to start here with probably the most popular model in the whole entire Dobbins lineup. That's the Dobbins Champion XP 734. So for you guys not that don't use Dobbins rods, aren't familiar with what that means, 734 is gonna be a seven foot, so that's what the seven there stands for. And then the 34 is gonna be a three, it's gonna mean three inches for that three. So seven foot three inch rod here. And then a four, the four means it's a four power, so they have anywhere from zero power all the way up to, I believe, an eight power rod. Um, your threes, three power, four power, and five power, sometimes the six are gonna be the main ones that you're gonna be using. Um, and then they have those lighter ones for like trout and panfish, and those heavier ones for big swim bait guys. But throwing those big baits, that's what you want that for. Um, but the 734, super versatile rod. Uh, I did do a review on this a little bit ago. It's a great all-around rod, and that's why I like to bring it as a co-angler. Um, you know, right now I got fluoro on it, which is paired with fluoro, great for a light wire swim jig, a chatterbait, a spinnerbait, all that, all that good stuff. And then putting braid on it, great top water rod. And um, you know, I don't like to, a lot of guys will use it for heavier stuff, but personally, I do not like to use it for that heavier stuff just because of the handle, not a super long handle. It's kind of like a crankbait handle like something you'd see on a crankbait rod with a shorter handle. So I like to stick with that lighter stuff, generally gonna run fluorocarbon on it. Um, you know, throwing those moving baits is what I like that for. But that is number five. Then moving on to number four. Um, let's, go with, let's go with this one. So this one I just picked up uh, this spring. So I've run it for a full season now. And for you hardcore Dobbins guys, you, I'm sure you guys um, know about this rod, the Dobbins Champion 736. So this is a 7.3 6 power. Um, the 6 power, especially the 736, is probably the most popular rod for frogging and punching, stuff like that. Uh, I really like that 7.3 model. I think anywhere above that, you know, I sometimes fish with seven foot fours, but I feel like anything above that, I'm starting to lose accuracy. And I feel like that's really the sweet spot for my style of fishing and my height and for getting those accurate casts as well as lots of power um, in getting those fish in the boat. But the 736 is an awesome rod because, uh, you know, for frog fishing, you don't, you don't want a broomstick necessarily. You want to have something that has tips so you can work that frog really well and something not super long so that, um, you know, when you're working your frog and you're keeping that rod tip down, it's not going into the water. And um, I run 65 pound braid on this. And then right now I got a Bantam MGL on here, but I think I'm gonna switch it over to Corrado 200K 
But that's a great setup. I fish a lot of grass. And if you guys are grass fishermen, this is a must have. Um, awesome rod. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. So number three or number three, I'll do this one. So the Dobbins Champion Extreme uh, 742 SF. So this year I experienced my first two smallmouth fisheries. I went up to Lake Champlain and then I went up to the St. Lawrence River. And before those events, I picked up this rod just for that, just for drop shotting. And this has been an amazing rod, by far my favorite um, rod that I've owned for drop shot fishing. It's a step up above that Champion XP. It's gonna be uh, right at $350. Though the Champions are, I believe, 270 now. Um, but this is a super sensitive rod and Personally, for me, I like to have execution, uh, not only just being able to feel those bites with that sensitivity, but putting them in the boat. And the smallmouth, as you guys know, are known for you know big power dives, lots of jumping. This rod handled all of that amazing. Um, I was fishing Champlain where I was running a quarter ounce weight, and then you know I was fishing St. Lawrence where I was throwing up to an ounce weight in this super heavy current fighting these smallmouth against the current with super light line and it was awesome i only lost one fish um believe it or not the entire summer that i've been fishing with this rod and it was my fault to be honest and it, it ran at the boat super fast and it like thought it come off but um yeah this has been an awesome rod i like it for drop shots it's a seven foot four which i am starting to become more and more of a fan of with that lo the longer rod for drop shots. I know a lot of guys will run like under seven foot, but I love this rod for um, drop shots. But when it comes to target fishing, I'm going to go with the 702 SF and that's gonna be the Champion XP. So when you're fishing targets with a spinning rod, whether that's fishing docks, laydowns, grass, anything like that. I like to stay with a seven foot, it just gives me a little bit be better accuracy. And, you know, putting fish in the boat, usually when you're fishing targets, you're making shorter casts. So you don't need that casting distance and getting them in the boat for me has been fine. And this has been an awesome combo. I love to throw a Nico rig uh, with just a four inch Senko. It's, been, it's become one of my staples. Uh, because you can fish it through rock, you can fish through grass, you can fish it anywhere, and then you can take that nail out. Uh, real quick, just a couple seconds, take that nail out, and you got a weightless wacky rig if you wanna modify it. So as a co-angler, that is an awesome bait for me, and it's hard to fish because it's so slow, but as a co-angler, I'm just looking for bites, and it catches a lot of fish behind people. And I have dialed in this setup right here to be my favorite setup for that Nico rig. So that's what I like to run with, um, you know, that smaller finesse stuff. Uh, I'll bump it up to a three power when I'm throwing heavier stuff on spinner rods. Uh, 703 is another great rod, but the 702, awesome rod for that Nico rig, drop shot, um, wacky rig, and small swim baits, you know, pretty much any of that smaller finesse stuff, it is a great rod. And then moving on to the last one. And I always say best for last. This is going to be the Dobbins 735 Champion XP. So this is actually the first Dobbins rod that I've ever bought. And this has been an amazing rod. Um, in my opinion, a lot of guys will say that 734 is the best all around rod, but I'm gonna have to go with the 735. This is just an awesome all around rod. Uh, the big thing for me with the 735, it's a uh, you know bump up obviously from that 734, so they added a longer handle on it, and that makes all the difference for me. Uh, allows me to throw things like a like a buzz bait, um, swim jig. It's a little bit heavier power, got that longer handle. I feel like it helps me get a lot more power on that hook set and a lot more control. Um, I love throwing a buzz bait, like I said, a swim jig. I'll flip with this rod. 
I'll sometimes throw smaller frogs or frogs in open water. Not really something that I would like to ideally use for a frog, but um, I will in some cases. Also, throw top waters, like your treble hook top waters, like big, big spooks and stuff like that. Um, throw jig on it. Throw Carolina, Carolina rig sometimes. I don't throw Carolina rig that much, but um, well, I'm trying to think of some other stuff. Throw chatterbait on it, fishing through grass. I'll throw ribbit toad, throw toad on a lot. But all in all, amazing rod. Um, but as you guys can tell, I stuck with that seven foot three. I really, like I said, I really feel like that keeps me dialed in as far as um, maximizing my casting distance, my accuracy, and power on the hook sets and getting those fish in the boat. Um, I do have seven foot four, a couple seven footers, uh, seven like the seven footers when you're fishing shorter, shorter cast, um, fishing targets and stuff like that. But this seven foot three, awesome rod. Um, the 735, great rod. All these Champion XPs are made with Fuji Alkanite guides, um, cork, cork handles, and Fuji reel seats. So uh, super quality, not only the blank that I love about these rods, but super high quality components. You know, they don't cheap out on any of this stuff that you're gonna have here down at the bottom. Uh, or these guides, especially the guides, super important with bringing sensitivity from your line uh, in the tip of your rod all the way down to down the blank and into your hands, um, which is super important. And yeah, that's my top five um, Dobbins rods. And if I was gonna go anywhere in the country uh, to fish and you didn't tell me where it was, uh, these are definitely the five rods that I would be bringing with me. So uh, thanks again guys for watching another episode of the Tackle Rat. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys like, like this uh, style of video. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of the Tackle Rat. Thank you.